What's going on, YouTube? What is up? It is the Obsidian Alliance here. I am the Blair Thomas. Nature of Oz, back at it again. And we're here to talk to you about black cookouts. Protocols. Yeah, protocols, do's and don'ts and stuff. So, um, I'm going to and kick it off like this. Okay. Uh, if the man on the grill don't have crusty feet in some of uh, the Jesus Walks 11s, those sandals, those brown sandals with the, with the thing in the back. The toes out. Yeah, the toes it. out. The cover it. You don't want him on there. That needs to be somebody's uncle, and he needs to have the beer belly. That means he's going. That's going to means he got the seasoning down for the ribs, the chicken, and all that. He need to have the, uh, the deep fryer outside for the uh, fried fish, mm -hmm. all that. So if he don't look like that, you don't want him on the grill. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, you have to have black classic music, sure. like Frankie Beverly. Shouts out to Frankie Beverly. Mm -hmm. um, you can't have, you really can't have a black barbecue without music because it's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. But you know what? You're going to come late. Call it people time. That's right. That's right. People time. If it starts at 5, you're going to get there about 7.30ish. You know. Mm -hmm. And typically what happens is someone or multiple people bring people that weren't invited. And they just say that they're your cousins. Yeah, cousin. Yeah, you can't yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's something like that. Um, also... As far as drinks go, you have the uh, the hard liquor for the adults, mm -hmm. maybe a couple of wine coolers, mm -hmm. or the margarita mix, or the hunch punch yep. for the women that don't want to drink too heavily. Um, there's two places I try to avoid at black cookouts, and that's the Domino's table and the Spades table. I, I'm not I'm not ready for it. <laughs> it's too much it's too much hostility. I, I'm not trying to get my Got life. Got side bet, all that. I'm not, I'm not trying to have my life end over a cookout. I, I can't. I can't, I can't afford that right now. But um, I know one thing, the auntie, grandma, mama, sister, whoever, she got to have this part of the fat. I call it bat wings or, or lunch lady arms. Yeah, they got to jiggle. In, gotta order jiggle. For, in order for her to be cooking the baked beans, making the potato salad, macaroni salad, anything that has to be... Pasta salad. Uh, pop, yeah, she has to have this part of her arm. If she don't, it's probably not going to taste good. Must have double eggs. Eggs. I'm not even a big fan, but I know that's something that's a Bus. must. Yes, boss. Oh, and what do the kids? Are the kids getting the, the huggies that you got to poke the hole in? They, 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 the they cut up the side of your mouth. Yeah. Or you want to get the for Caprice? That's what the little um, the huggies. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely be bougie do. if you get the Caprice on. And then right. Squeeze it one time, it's gone. You know. You know how it exactly. Exactly. Styrofoam cups. But you know what I never understood? Whenever <laughs> black gatherings happen, whether it be a cookout or anything. Why does everybody put their jacket or their coat in one room? Why don't y'all buy coat? Why don't we buy coat racks? I don't even think we have a coat rack here. Closet, maybe? Yeah, a closet, but you know, typically it's all piled on one bed. Or one chair or something. Or yeah, or like one chair, and that's just weird to me. I, I just, I never so, I understood that. Oh, another thing is, if you're single or you're talking to somebody, mm -hmm. you better make sure whoever you're bringing is acceptable to all your aunties and your grandma. Mm -hmm. They're going to ask questions. Child, child, she look a little fast for you, you know? They're going to do an interview. They're going to have a little interview. Yeah. So I hope, she, hope she, she's a little... I hope she's on par. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> there was a mishap that happened over here, a couple of barbecues. Uh, <laughs> didn't, go, didn't go too well for it. But anyway, <laughs> but um, what else do we think you're missing for a black barbecue? What else do you think you have to have? Make sure you have enough paper plates and utensils oh, and stuff, man. Oh, yeah, that's the most Can't, annoying I hate thing. going there and you don't have nothing. You are allowed oh, one plate to take home. One plate. You also have to bring something. You yeah. can't come empty hand. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's, that's rude. rude. That's kind of rude. So bring something, you know, beer or whatever you want to bring. Right. But I mean, not, I mean, beer, I guess. Something. Something. The chips for the dip. Something like that. I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> something. You have to bring something. But black barbecues don't usually have a time where they stop. It's just like whenever everybody decides to go. Uh, somebody, somebody say, hey, trying to get, you know, yeah. like Martin, trying to get step in. You know? Yeah, get to step in. Yeah, <laughs> y'all done, done been in my house all day. Yeah. I think the most important thing about the black barbecue. It's is, a family reunion. Kind of. Yeah, pretty much. It's they like. Party. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They party hard, you know. It's like you always have to have different sections. You got a section where all the teenagers are yeah. hanging out. The little kids are probably in a room somewhere playing tag, and you got the older adults outside. And they even got a separate table for the grandmas and they oh, talking crazy. Who, who gets to get their plates first? The kids. Kids get their plate first. Yeah. My family. 
The older ones get the older, the older <laughs> they play first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I think and I think that's so funny because it's just like nine times out of ten, the old people that are coming didn't even prepare no food. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I said where you come from. Yeah, the kids and the older people get their food yeah, first. It's like respect for your elders yeah. and whatnot. <clears throat> so, here's a real question. When it comes time for your plate, mm -hmm. what's the first thing you're putting on your plate? It has to be the main, either a burger, hot dog, or whatever type of meat, ribs. You know, that's why. So I the meat's eat. coming first. The meat's coming first. Okay. That's, that's how you set it up. That's the main entree. You know. So if this, if this is the plate. We got. The this plate is the plate right, right here. The burger going right here? It's like a quarter of the plate. You take about, about a good quarter of the plate. Okay, okay. So, where are we going next? We're going to the salads? Either, yeah, little pasta salad. Or beans. Know. Even beans, too. Either or. If there's fish there, I'm getting me a burger and a piece of fish. That's right. the first thing. Something yeah. like fish fry, you know? You know, fish fry. You legit, you legit. Or a piece of big chicken, whatever's on the grill. Hey, man, you know, get it how you live. Beans. I like the grilled chicken. You're right. You might have to get the grilled chicken, barbecue, little barbecue on there. Yeah, or oh, barbecue sauce is on deck. Yeah. yeah. A burger. So I say, all right, half of the plate is meat. Yeah, pretty all much. Right. All right. Unless you get beans and that's like three quarters of the plate is meat because then, you know, they got the meat inside the beans. You know, we get beans with, with uh, ground beef in it. Yeah. The good ground beef and whatever. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what else? We don't, we don't only got a quarter left now. So it's the salads. You got a pile of salads on top of the pasta salad and the macaroni salad and the potato salad. Probably gonna go out to go. Like, we're gonna have to split this up right here. You might get a little shish kebab or like corn on you know, a little side. Something nothing too, not too heavy, you know. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen corn on the cob at a lot of barbecues, I'm going to be honest with you. The shish kebab, I don't know, I feel like... They don't make them right? Not that, but I typically see that at either white or Spanish barbecues. You know, not Speaking trying. of that, I do not want to see raisins in my potato salad. I'm trying to... What? <laughs> let's, you know what? Let's talk about it. And let's, let's talk about it. What's up with the off-brand soda, man? Can we get the good soda? Yeah, why are we like if, we, if they're having a barbecue, it's always Dr. K. What about Dr. Pepper? It's a dollar too. It's like a dollar sixty-seven or something like that. You too good to get? We not good enough to get the right. And then you got it's not a Mountain, mountain Dew. It's uh, what is it? Lemon Lime Mountain or something like that. I'm like, what, what is this? And then on top of that, y'all are baking fish. You you, you put the the fish on tin foil with like butter and olive oil and squash. I want Yeah. And then you put it, you put it, and you bake it, or sometimes you put it on the grill. But I don't want no casserole. Yeah, the questionable casserole. We're not doing it. With peas and what are the peas doing? Yeah, peas and there's always some random fly on top of it. No, we're not doing that. The fly dies as soon as it flies off. Right, and then on top of that, we don't have regular hot dogs. We got brats, like bratwurst. I don't even know uh, what right, is it. Right legs. Yeah. Red links or something like that. It's just not a regular hot dog. It ain't a Nathan's. We ain't got no Nathan's on the grill. What is it called? Ballpark. You want some ballpark? Ballpark, ballpark Frank. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And they don't even call them out though. They call them Franks. They're like, hey, hey man, would you like a Frank? Would you like a Frankfurter? Yeah. They slide me a burger there, Tom. No raisins, man. Definitely no raisins. We don't do that. Why are we doing why are we putting raisins in potato salad? Who did that? We don't do that. Not down here, we don't. Or even up where I'm from, we don't. Mm. That's no no. So the hospitality, you know, you gotta greet everybody. Speak, you gotta speak before you know. You, you gotta speak just, to the head of the house. Yeah, you first. can't just walk into somebody's barbecue and just expect to get played. You know, you gotta, you gotta say, hey, you know, at least hey, hey, hey everybody, blah blah blah. And don't you dare, if you are a guest and you're not related and you know you're not related, don't you try to get your plate first. It ain't happening. You wait until everybody else get their plate. And so somebody tells you, I'm just saying, hey baby, you hungry? Yeah. That's, That's when you get, get up. Like, you don't get up before then. But like, comment, subscribe. You know, if you need guidance, follow the Alliance. I am the Blair Thomas. Major Vibes. Peace. Peace.